All righty. So, are we live? I am live. Are we live this time? All right. Let's see. Hopefully, the the, the issue is <laughs> gone now. We've tried going live three times for anybody watching, but in true gaming dad one hundred and one fashion, that's how we do it. So let's let's see what this sounds like now. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we we have this going the way that it should, and it it is not a complete bleeding disaster uh, of some hey. mess or other other. I don't know what's happening. I can't even find it now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this really? is wonderful. Oh, Lord. I, yeah, because. All right. <laughs> How much time do we got? We're it's about to begin any second now. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. All right. Let's see what they got going on. Well, at the same time, we are recording, so. Five, four, four three. three. I can't two, hear them though. One. There. Boom. We go. Let's see. I look. Anything that you're expecting? Right um, Halo. Something Halo. Like Halo. I will have nothing to. Do write you think with. they're gonna show the the new Xbox? They have to show something. Oh, hopefully. At least a tease. Are we live? I'm looking for the thing. I don't think we are. You think? I mean, I can stop it real quick and start it. Are we at least recording? The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown us. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. So we don't know if we're live on YouTube or not right now, but we're still recording, so we're going to do this. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy, proudly hmm. owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are, we owe to them. It looks like a weird version of Las Vegas, and I really want to be in this weird version of Las Vegas. Do you think it's a new Fallout? Nah, this is not new. There's, this is not a new Fallout. There's no way. That does not look like Fallout. Could it be a new? Uh... A stranger has just arrived. Yeah, clearly. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. What's the name of that? Uh, Bioshock. No, I thought Bioshock for a second, but no, I don't think so. Or are they partnering up to do the new? Um... Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding mm. stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Oh, jeez. Or a psychopath. Oh. What is this? this? My time to shine. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That looks interesting. It has monsters. It has monsters, it has spaceships, it has weird physics. We'll never be the same. I feel like I know City Entertainment right now. Who makes Dude, I feel like I should know this game and it's driving me nuts. Mm. The outer world. Interesting. Hmm. Alright. Nice. I'd be interested to see what it does. I am too. Please welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom. 
That's one thing I'm really excited about, to see what Ninja Theory has to say. Indeed. Yeah. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios. Which was freaking awesome. A move that's given us an incredible well, for Xbox, it's terrible for PlayStation. Of our team. <laughs> We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. I'm sure you did. We're happy to return After sending a sen like, send your sacrifice <laughs> had to be like some passion project while they As did something awesome in the background. I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. <laughs> it combines two of my gaming passions, third person action combat and competitive... I'll have nothing to write with. <laughs> Technical alphas kicking off. I think I were recording this, huh? Weeks. I know, right? I'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge. World premiere. <sighs> That's the part I hate Xbox Gamer Studios. It means I may not get it. This. I mean, the music already has been. It said I want to be between, um. How do you call that game? Borderlands and, uh, Rage 2. <laughs> well, ironically enough, I was thinking Borderlands and, like, um. Oh, man, now I can't remember. Oh, with all the heroes, dude. Oh, um. Uh, Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm still upset over the whole YouTube live thing. I can't <laughs> think straight right now. Oh, that is dope. And there's that thing in there exactly what Gengar's talking about, too. Well, we'll remember when it's, like, least important, <laughs> or, like, when it's, like, no longer matters and this whole thing's over, and that's when we're going to remember I own the game too, that's the that's the sad part. Bleeding Edge. I mean that looks interesting. It does. But is it like another type of battle royale type of thing? Because that's kinda what it looks like. It just looks like an arena maybe like an arena shooter type of thing. Mm-hmm. Alright, this had 14 new original games, this one. Right? Yeah. Wait, man. Ain't nothing to write with. Mmm. <laughs> Ori. I've been waiting for this game. This game looks gorgeous. But is it in Ori came out? Is this two? Hmm? Is this two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ori two. What a wisp. I don't think I like this game anymore. Yeah, no, I don't think I like this game anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play this game. <laughs> I have a thing about spiders. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, look at that. That looks... It looks awesome. I love the graphics. Dude, yeah. I mean, I'm so in. <laughs> I don't know how. I'll figure it out. But I'm playing this game. Who wants to let me borrow their Xbox? <laughs> I mean, I have it right here. And that's on Games Pass already, I believe. So I can download it. Is it or is it going to be? Because I don't think it's out yet. Let's find out. Well, if this is two... February 11th, 2020. The first one is already on Xbox Live. Yes, the first on one. Xbox. I want this one. <laughs> This one, Ricky. This one. Wait, what do I have to be Do you say you were going to write down the stuff? I wasn't going to write anything. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft? I mean, they have to... A brand new game. From the creators of Minecraft. It's Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> More Minecraft. Which is kind of what it looks like. Oh, more story mode, right? Maybe? Story mode 2? 
And it's gonna be on Xbox Games Pass, which has become freaking. Did you see the announcement earlier today for the PC? Five dollars? Really? Yeah. Did you see the one that I posted on the group for PlayStation? Thirty dollars off? I did. I did. One year PlayStation. Well, they're also having a sale for the PS Plus right now. I think everything's on sale right now. Everybody's having their own E3 sale. Which is pretty freaking sweet if you haven't got to see it. It's, great. it's a great way to grab games that you haven't had a chance to play with. Nah, dude. This looks more like Minecraft RPG. You think? I, I honest, If what? they call this Minecraft RPG. Ah, oh, so close! <laughs> That's like the second idea I had. Minecraft Dungeons! Oh, AJ is so going to play this. <laughs> Please welcome the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> YouTube streams wonky, but still recording. We'll be posting soon. <laughs> we'll be posting as soon as it's over. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm glad that he's the one here before anybody else says something we dumb. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. Dude, look, so hear that hype. Huh? The hear the hype. Everybody's I know. freaking here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. He's reading it right there. This it moment isn't just about <laughs> it's finding a some new I game. know. <laughs> it's about discovering your new game. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history. Alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. Dude, what, what, what are you this saying? This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. Mm -hmm. What do you have up your so sleeve, So whether dude? you're one of the thousands of us here at Microsoft <laughs> Theater... I swear to God, if they announce that prediction you have, I will be... I will, I will be... I will be... Millions around the world who play games, welcome <laughs> to E3 2019. Hell yeah. E3, 2019. About freaking time. Come on, Xbox. Don't miss the point. Dude, I like, seriously do I think it's going to be one of the best ones yet. Watch. Games and they're taking their time this time. Now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibilities. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. For those that don't believe in it. Under two decades, Dude, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. Yeah, but like, is that like normal games? And with games new or technological like games, leaps, games? we get to play whatever we want with whomever we want. And wherever we want. However we want. That's right. <clears throat> no, you. <laughs> On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. Mm -hmm. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play. <laughs> I don't like the way he said connect. <laughs> I don't like the way he said connect. Wherever they want. I don't like it, Ricky. He said connect in a very rude way. I know. It's odd. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services, <laughs> why we're uniting communities Dude, across play, man. and why, it's why we're investing with <laughs> Crossplay. That, you have to give him credit for the crossplay initiative. Above all, gaming is for you. That's right. This <laughs> is why we scour you. the world for your so next right game. Now. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere, this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 
today from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Oh, wow. Holy hell, okay. Including 14, 14 from games Xbox from Game Xbox Studios. Games We've already seen one. Yep. And over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. No. Nice. Wow, dude. Xbox, I told you they were going to come in and swing in this year. Showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at xbox game studios hmm. we're huh. definitely probably gonna get to hear expansive plans for streaming and of course oh wow revealing more about our next new console oh ah. ricky was right <laughs> no wait no billy was right billy's the one who predicted it that they yeah. would show the box right yeah, yeah. billy <sighs> xbox pc Really? Star Wars. <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, is it Fallen Order? I can't remember the name of the new one. Old Republic or Fallen Order? The new one. The new EA title single player one. Fallen. Is it Fallen Order? Yeah. There you go. Hey, who are you? Really? Hey. Great respawn. Got a name? Never mind. Cal Kestis. Sogarill. Wait. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi is dead. So this is a prequel. Interesting. A Jedi. This is honestly the first I see of this, this game. November coming out this year. Yeah, dude, they had 15 minutes um, that they showed at EA Play, but I did not watch EA Play yet because I didn't want to ruin this for me. Oh man, I am so in. Wait, what happened? <laughs> the Jedi are not yet lost. Hope is not yet lost. Jedi fall in order. All right. Sometimes I forget things. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, Why do they gotta keep making really again. cute robots that everybody just wants multiple toys of? <laughs> That's not bad coming out this year, though. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of bad coming out this year because that that's Ooh, a lot of money coming in at that time, you know, time of the year. Yeah. True. So I record. No, man. This is a kids game. <laughs> yeah, let my two-year-old play it. <laughs> what the? Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I'm already freaked Rest out. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be. Peter Shannon, a went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills forest. Okay, bullet. This is one of those times where I hate that I'm not that big on Xbox, that this is like new to me, but at the same time, this is kind of what's exciting about it. Okay. Here's the playing games past that launch day. Wait. <coughs> Have you noticed how so far each game that has come out has stated that it's going to be part of Xbox Games Pass on launch? Yeah. 34. That's freaking awesome. Oh, hell no. Nice. Right, so why do you need the camera? Well, earlier he had the camera and there was nothing in front of it. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait, do you just... Is that cycle? Do you just relive it? Mm. It's like Groundhog's Day? <laughs> Blair, Blair Witch. Witch. Interesting. Huh. Did you I ever mean, see the movie? No. <laughs> I didn't have it either. <laughs> oh no. CD Projekt Red. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, Cyberpunk. That's gorgeous, man. That is. 
Motel, motel, no vacancy. Motel, motel. Will you take your frosty tools? Hi. Hi. Wonder if somebody's ever shot their butt. I'm sure they have. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> I'm sure they've even done it on purpose. Oh, hell no. They need an extra hole. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty badass. Be my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right. Start it up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Wash up. We're going to be with you in a minute. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Your neck. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a trap, dude. Feels like a trap. It's a trap. Who's remembering what happened? Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. <laughs> Cars can drive themselves. Well, why wouldn't they? I mean, at that point, if you're wearing cybernetics, you might as well have self-driving cars. I never car. thought about it that far, okay, man? <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, okay. Now, Mr. Wells condition. He killed me. Immediate medical help. Just hold on. Just, hey, hey. Just think about all the good shit that we're going to have, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Censoring it is just hilarious to me at this point. I don't know why they're censoring it, but okay. Even though you gave me a disclaimer at the beginning. Who? Even though I gave me a disclaimer at the beginning, there I might be any appropriate items. Oh, it did? Yeah, yeah, the video. yeah I forgot. I thought you said we did. I was like, we didn't do no such oh, thing no. for this one. We should have. I thought it was a trap, see? You wanted him to wash up so you can muddy him up? cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Huh. Hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna get this game, yes. Oh, <laughs> I wonder how well you can upgrade your body for weapon-wise, like, customizations. What I would like to know is how different I can make mine from yours. Or is it going to be one of those that by the end of the game, your character is going to be exactly like mine? That's what I'm saying. Cyberpunk. I don't know what just happened to the quality. It's rough right I think it's because everybody's trying to watch it. Probably. It's a shame, though. This game looks gorgeous. What? What? We got John Wick! <laughs> we got John Wick! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is dope! Oh my god! <laughs> Did they see it? He's coming out! <laughs> oh my god, that was uh, totally unexpected. You know, this whole thing of celebrities showing yeah. up at E3 is weird, but, like, at the same time, that was dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. All right. I got to talk to you about something. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. 
He's starting to he age or look like he's aging. How they create this past open world with a branching story Or maybe it's just a trick because he's a freaking vampire you still. You customize your character <laughs> through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by it. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Are you? Are you just drawn to like a son, like a shit of action? And <laughs> I just saw another movie that he was in. Where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, so like, an enhanced mercenary future. working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay, but let me tell you. <laughs> but let me the tell you. Of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. Oops. You're breathtaking. Yeah. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me. <laughs> I gotta finish this. Like, hey, chill. Um, when there's uh, when it, the release date. Oh. All right. Yeah. This year. All right. Go on quickly. Next quickly. year. Then check this out. October. Mm, you know? December area. I said October January. this year. January at least. February. I don't think they'd be showing it unless they were ready to shoot, man. They've been very quiet about this game. Yeah. Especially after it got delayed. That's the other thing. It's already been delayed. Ah, that's right. I forgot about that. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's close. Two months off. CeCe's birthday. Oh! <laughs> Happy birthday, Cece. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was right with the next year portion. Yeah, I just didn't true. have the month right. True, 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 true. Well, you also kind of panicked. And you're like, whoa, what? <laughs> like, come on, come on. Bill. Oh. I know this is odd, but this is totally a, a Chris game. I would totally play something like this. I don't know. We'll have to take time to play it. Oh, so you can take your whole civilization with you. Yeah, see that? That's yeah. That's this cool. Is, this is a Chris ass game, dude. <laughs> Chris asking. <laughs> oh yeah, I would, I would. No, uh, so goodbye. Xbox, what are you making me do? You're gonna make me buy an Xbox. Oh man. So so far, pretty solid. Yeah, see, this just kind of tells me that it's very story driven. Like, I feel like it's got some sort of. Yeah, see, Spirit I gotta see this. Fair. I gotta check it out. And it's part of Xbox Game Pass. It is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> now, is it gonna be PC, Xbox Game Pass? Alright, Ricky, let's not mess with this. I just said I may have to buy an Xbox, right? Stop, stop making me repeat myself. Oh, Battletoads! Oh, shit! Battletoads! <laughs> just cursed really loud. <laughs> Rash. I know somebody out there Pimple. is really upset right now. <laughs> Let me keep an eye on Twitter real quick. <laughs> Exclusive. Oh, three player couch co op. Three player? Nice. <laughs> I was never a fan of the original. I never really played the original, but I've heard so much bad toads for so many <laughs> years of people wanting this and people hating on this. <laughs> never played Battle Toads either. The Legend, the Legend of Light. Of Light.
What the hell? What is this? I like the music. <laughs> I'm like dancing to the music. Dude, I'm very like into like... Like I want to know more about this game. This looks interesting as hell. Little Big Planet. That's what it reminds me of. What? How? Really? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, because I guess of like the cardboard stuff yeah, and the everything. Yeah, cardboard um... I guess that makes sense. This is like a 3D storybook or something. Weird as hell, but I... Yeah, mm. dude. I'm interested. Alright, what is this? This game passed. Is this sizzle real? Oh, they're just showing multiple games right now. Dead Static Drive. Pathologic 2. Star Renegades. Breaking games all launch on Xbox Game Pass. After Party Tabs. Huh? The Good Life. Cross Cave or Cross Code. Creature in the Well. Oh, well, that's cool. Dude, they're putting a lot of stuff on uh, Games Pass. This is freaking awesome, man. Why does the PlayStation have something like this? And anybody who tells me the PlayStation now is no, it's not the same thing. Because it's PlayStation. Man. <laughs> they, need to get, they need to get their shit together. Ooh, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Definitely like Destruction. Secret, Secret neighbor. neighbor. The Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. Night Call. That hey. sounds like a different type of game. <laughs> Totem Teller. Alright. Dude, I'm liking this conference, man. Mm-hmm. I will say it is different than last year's conference, because last year's conference was like, boom, 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 boom. Here's more slower pace, because how long is this show anyway? It's like two hours? Well, the rumors that it's two hours, where it's actually So they're taking their now. time. Well, PlayStation's not doing anything. Sure. You know, a whole mess of people have dropped out. Why wouldn't they? They should. Nice. They're good. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. Day one <laughs> game Pass. Whatever they come out, yeah. Okay. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe Seeking out fan favorites Seeking and out wild them, games and mm -hmm. partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Mm -hmm. Since launch, we have tripled what? the number of it's all the Xbox right there. Oh, yeah. adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. That's cool. I would like to see the difference of the amount being made through we Games Pass versus just like selling the games out right. Coming to Xbox but Game at the same Pass time, with Games Pass, you're also trying more. Mm -hmm. Batman Arkham Knight. <clears throat> oh, wow. Metro X nice. <laughs> Hollow Knight. Ah, I already okay. have it. Yeah, I mean, Twice. The Handsome Collection. Oh, that's a yeah. good one. That's a good addition. You're already going to put it down on RG. I already have it on PC. Oh, okay, today. fair enough. But I don't have the Handsome Collection. I just have... Two. Our mission at Xbox well, now you do. is for you yeah. to be able to play <laughs> any game with anyone, anywhere. 
And we know for many of you that means PC. Yeah, baby. Let's oh, do it. Last month, we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more since I don't have the Xbox and I'm doing the whole PC Today, thing. Come on. The Game Pass journey on PC begins. Oh. Sweet. Now, what are you telling me? What are you PC telling players me? players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC. What? I knew that Spider already. Parada Rome and Football Manager 2019. Oh, Football Manager. I'm so glad I'm getting Football <laughs> Manager. Oh, thank and the Lord I'm getting Football Manager. For the manager. first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire match. Okay, now that's dope. That one is a good one. That's a good one. She's smiling too. <laughs> she, she knew I, that. Are we going to play? We're high level we'll play it. Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. <clears throat> open beta today. Hmm. Whenever you're ready. Now, what I want to know is is this Games Pass for PC, if I already have Games Pass, is it going to allow me? No, not for PC. You, I believe you have to pay an additional one, but if you get the ultimate, the Xbox Games Pass Ultimate that they just announced, mm -hmm. it does include it. They talked a little bit about that, and I, I had it, and I'm sure Here's we can look five. for it. I'm sure they'll talk about it. Halo Reach. Ark. I've never played Ark. Yeah. <laughs> Prey. Oh. I played the original. I didn't play the second or... Reese, that one I'm interested in. I got really nauseous playing that game. Did you? Yeah, for some reason. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. I already own it. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> On PC too. Over 100 by August. Yeah. Ah, did you caught that? Yeah, I caught that. That was really quick, but I caught it. That was sneaky. That was sneaky, <laughs> Xbox, but I caught it. Mm, 10 bucks, so I'm paying. I'll have to pay 30 five, no, bucks. Five dollars extra, I think, is for you guys. Oh. Is here now. Try it out by downloading the all new Xbox app on Windows. I already have it. And if you want she said it, all, all new. It might be a new one. We have created a membership just for you. See? Xbox Game Pass <laughs> Ultimate. Ultimate. You get everything. That has everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. Here it comes. And now, what's Xbox the monthly Game Pass or what's the yearly? PC at no additional charge. The monthly's 14. <laughs> <laughs> the look on your face. And because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today. For $1. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that means I'll be paying less than what I'm paying right now. Dude, that means Halo's not going to work tonight. <laughs> right now I'm paying 20 bucks. So I'm saving myself 5 bucks right now. Or 4 bucks. There you go. Hell yeah. No, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm 5 bucks. Satellite data and Azure AI. Satellite data. What are you showing me? X Cloud? X Cloud or Project Cloud? Hmm. And through a partnership on PlayStation. <laughs> the Nintendo Xbox and Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Is this a flying simulator game? It looks um, like it. It looks like it, and I want it. I am not into a lot of uh, flying games, but I would get this. But I would love to get it with the actual controllers. It's a lot of fun, dude. But you're right. It's one of those, like... In 2019, who's looking for this? I mean, you'd be surprised if you do got some of I mean, those I want it, granted, but... But yeah, no, there's it not... It just seems like... You know what I mean? Like, it, it seems like the demand for this was, like, in 1995. 
Mm-hmm. Along with but if you think about it, we have boat simulator, we have goat simulator, <laughs> we have farming simulator. We'll have flight simulator again. Yeah. We have a uh, train simulator. I used to love flight simulator. I'm just—it's just weird that it's coming back now. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> think about the graphics nowadays, though. You might actually feel like you're actually flying you something. I, I don't know if I remember. And powerful cities collapsed. No, I'm not that old. Sorry. When the smallest of Y2K? choices <laughs> through the pages of history. It was an age of history. Of empires. Definitive edition. Guys, welcome to the reasons why we're broke. <laughs> this entire conference. <laughs> so far. If you've never watched Gaming Dad 4K. 1K, we have a section called Reasons Why You're Broke. And this entire conference so far is the entire reason as to why we're going to be broke for the next year and a half or something. Because holy hell, man. I mean, I, can, I don't really care about Age of Empires. Yeah, so that, that's not necessarily my type of game. Or like at the same time, it is my type of game, but this is probably one of the ones that I'll wait for like a sale or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, what we got? Razors? I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home <laughs> of the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal what is this with game? wild and woolly wildlife. Is this like The Sims gone camping? Table home cooked. Or some shit? I don't know. Man. Looks familiar. Like I've seen another game like this before. Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and do in this post up. This looks like Indian Nation or something. Wonderland. XCOM type Meet of game. New people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces. <laughs> <laughs> friendly faces. See our beautiful airport. That is a nice airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. <laughs> Please welcome head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt, Matt Booty. Booty. <laughs> he said welcome Booty. Welcome to Booty. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. Jeez, for real. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce uh -oh. that joining Xbox Studios oh, is Double Fine Production. No way! Oh, that's going to be interesting. Double has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm interesting. Double Fine joining Xbox. And Dude, Xbox is just trying to get together. everybody. Please join me and welcoming... Becoming a monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> <Double Fine production, laughs> <Tim Schafer. laughs> Schaefer. <clears throat> Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios. And I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever <laughs> you, Double Fine will make for you. Uh, Halo stuff. <laughs> uh, Forza stuff. Excel stuff, whatever you want. <laughs> Excel stuff. <laughs> 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 I want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief because I was totally 
lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you Oh, cool. Oh, ha My name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. Raz. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. Looking for me? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a fun new game. Yeah. <laughs> Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Roboto. I put the old egg in the box in the basket. It looks like a kill time kind of game. What do you mean? I'm just trying to kill time to I mean, get ready for something. See, to me, it's just one of those like fun one-offs that you play. Well, so that's, I guess it's kind of my description. Yeah, just like a... Like, kill time. Here, let's do like this. Like a ukulele type of thing. Yeah. You know, like that sort of thing I had in time. Really good games, but... World premiere. You know, they're just like, oh, sweet. What are you premiering that has Star Wars at? We're going mobile. Oh, yeah. Lego. Close. Lego. Wait, no, hold on. Was all that Lego? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the collection? The saga. The Skywalker Saga. Huh. Cool. See? Tons of tiny little cute robots everywhere. <laughs> that's what it is, man. Star Wars. We sell toys. Yeah. And that's what it is. This Dragon Ball universe. Oh, the. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Is this Project Z? I know. It's... Japanese voice always cracks me up. <laughs> it just, it doesn't, to me, it never looks like it fits. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think this might be Project Z. This looks really awesome. The story of Goku. Come on, Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. Yep. RPG, yep. Oh! It's gonna be an RPG. Xbox and PC. Uh -huh. Early 2020. Xbox Games Pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't say Xbox Games Pass. What oh, was it? No. Luis Antonio te presenta. 12 minutos. <laughs> Do you? Please let it be better than that joke. <laughs> it's a dad joke, okay? You guess what it it is? is a dad joke, that's for damn sure. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. Huh? You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has Ooh. happened before. Shit. What are you talking about? The baby What's died five years ago. Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. Wait, he says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? 
My father died, died of a heart attack. No, oh, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with. Any second now, he's gonna knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey. <laughs> You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? So are you stuck in a loop? I wonder if this is going to be one of those games that you relive your life, but to be able to pass it, you're going to have to do something to make it keep going in further and further and further. Probably. A choice style game. It resets every 12 minutes. But a man trapped in a time loop. Yep. Oh, I'm in. I am so in. <laughs> I am. God damn it, Xbox. <laughs> Just take all my money. Are you sure you don't want to get that this list drive now? No, not for that price. <laughs> for that price at this point, I'll wait for the next Xbox. Which I'm sure they'll announce at the end of this conference. You know they're going to show something. A controller, a case, something. I'm gonna laugh. Nintendo Xbox. I will. Yell. I will leave. That would be insane. <laughs> Dude, I will fall out of this chair. <coughs> It'll never happen. You know that, right? I know, but still. But if it does happen, it was, it's still a cool concept, though. <coughs> I know it won't never happen. I know that much. I'm never that good. <laughs> it would be interesting. Oh, I would play this game too. But if you think about it, they've been the only ones that haven't had a handheld. Yeah, they don't need one. I think about it, especially now with with their whole thing with Nintendo. They really do not need one. Oh yeah, I'm playing this game. Break in an entry. Dude, all of these games are totally like the types of games I play. That's why Xbox is the best. Look, Ricky. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Halo. Oh, Billie Eilish. It's either Halo or Gear or Wars. <clears throat> I think it's Gears. Oh, yeah. Gears. Yep. Dude, this looks freaking. This is an interesting trailer to put out, that's for sure. Great choice of music, for sure. Does she come right into one of them? I don't know. She's torn. That's exactly what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know her grandmother was, um. Forgot the names of the evil people. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? But yeah, her ancestors were from that hmm. race. Bound by blood. From the coalition. Please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. People are not as excited for her. <laughs> well, the, remember, the coalition is all the studios that got put together, so it's one of those. Thanks, everyone. What exactly they're working on? We're excited on. to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Oh, nice. He seems so relieved to say that <laughs> on September 10th. Oh, thank with God. Our ultimate edition, our membership in the newly Come out for all three systems. Mm. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. Mm -hmm. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, 
Join us for our versus multiplayer tech test. Well, you'll be one of the first to play our July 17, my birthday. Game type mm. arcade. In August at Gamescom, go hands on with the all new horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, I don't know, you tell me you're going to do the show. The swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about gear <clears throat> turned up to 11. Hmm. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of pyrotechnics this year. You know, Asteria just got hot. Life. Cosplay. What's going on? They're doing a live cosplay of, I guess, infiltrate a hive and try to get out of there with your life. They attacked, and we lost everything. <clears throat> everything except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. <clears throat> <clears throat> that is one slimy motherfucker. No. Hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He reminds me. Oh, he reminds me of Shaq. What? Two, he reminds me of the grandfather from uh, Medea. <laughs> you know, I've never seen those. Really? Yeah. Legend just look like he just cut her leg off. Yeah. <laughs> Chick was a different chick. No. This is all new characters, I guess, just for this specific mode. Well, that's good. That looks interesting as hell. So, what do you think, Ricky? Eleven. I like them. No, no, eleven. Oh, eleven. I gotta play it. But it's not just about hunting <clears throat> hives. You can build them too and challenge oh. your friends with the experiences you create. Interesting. Oh. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars Xavier Woods, hey. AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. So, do you want to go to uh, the town center? <laughs> go check out the Microsoft <laughs> store. Special just for you. 
I know, right? <clears throat> Jeez. Huh. I'm back. That's dope. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Prior and get freaking Terminator. That's pretty dope. I am back. I'll be back. I'll be back. It's a racing game. It's a new controller. controller. Elite. Now more elite. What? It has a, a specific mode. <clears throat> three additional lights. Three engineer from the inside out. That's cool. Mm. Oh, I said bed just barely yeah, happened. Exactly. Interesting. Oh shit. So you're gonna have it. So you're gonna set. have different customizations. That's cool. How long does the battery last? What? 40 hours. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want it now. I do too. We'll say. I mean, control, clearly it's going to work with the next Yeah, I was going to say. The... But if they're putting that much technology better. into a controller, you imagine it there's no system. Ooh! Um, Dead or Alive 2? Dying Light. Told me never or Dying Light 2. Where I come from. This is the one that actually do affect your choices. But in this place, nobody well, is it? I mean, that's my guess, Dying Light. Touch, but it probably isn't. Nope. Oh, yeah. There are zombies. The dynamite too. The darkness comes. Mm -hmm. I might be gone. The virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. <laughs> Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Hmm. Dying Light too. <clears throat> so he is infected. Interesting. More 2020 titles. Yeah. Of course, dude. Now they're prepping the stage for the next one, dude. <laughs> this isn't this is this, like, this is three is not for anything coming now. This E3 is like, yeah, we have a few things to keep Force you interested. Four. But it's mostly for uh, the next Xbox. Yeah, I let them borrow my car. <laughs> what DLC are you giving us? <laughs> oh, heck no. A Lego mod? Lego world. Oh my god. I think I need to go back to Forza. <laughs> I would get this. <clears throat> Is it going to be part of Xbox Games Pass? Because the game's already, I'm thinking, the game's already I'm Games Pass. All you got to do is just buy the DLC. But is and the DLC going to be part yeah. of it? Or yeah, separate? it doesn't matter. It'll be across all boards. No, 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 no. no. You're not understanding. 
Am I going to have to pay extra for the DLC? Yes. Okay, that's the piece that I was asking. Yes, no, yeah. Anything extra. The game is free on Games Pass, but any DLCs, yes, you do have to pay. Oh my god, this is freaking... This is that legit. That is hot. Dude, imagine me going in a race and I'm freaking beating you in a freaking Lego car. Like, this yeah! freaking awesome. I will... I gotta admit. Really weird. Completely out of left field. I don't know why they would do this, but it's interesting that they did. Are they coming out with a new Lego movie? Expansion of Metal on the 13th. Please welcome Ralph Fulton. Alright, tell us how this weird. Thing oh, happened. damn! Carlos. McLaren's passion for design. With about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks, you get this incredible life size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. That is gorgeous. Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, <coughs> you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. Yeah! <laughs> this Senna and more Lego Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world. Packed so weird. With inventive new <laughs> so weird. New areas to explore. And loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion launches this week. Oh I'll wow! See you there. I really thought for a second launches two day after the show. How much? Did we talk about any of that? Uh, between like hey, four. the Gears Pop game. <clears throat> Is this gonna be some sort of mobile game or something? Yep, register pre on not to iOS and Android. <laughs> and pick up phone. Free kittens. Really? <clears throat> Coming soon. Pre register. What is it called? Gears Pop. Pre-order soon. Already pre-ordered, guys. Right here. It says iOS, but it's not coming up, though. Oh, look how Android's better. <laughs> yeah. I think we just found something here. Yeah, right. Already registered for it. No, no. That's weird. What if you just put gears? I did. My mission. Find the father I never knew. Well, I guess I am pre-registering. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. It'll come out to uh, Apple first anyway. Watch. The, outbreak. the last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen. Was in Trouble Valley. Trouble Valley. Only heard whispers. Is this All the music has been really good today. Yes, it has. Legend. Of unseen horrors. Here. Is this a new one? Um... Here we can become stronger. Fire. No. Spirit fingers. So long, I was just <laughs> um. Damn. What's the name of that call? Is that a decay three? Oh no. I don't think this. No. St another state of decay so quickly? I don't think so. Story could begin. We had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Two so stories. Oh, new danger. Oh well. Or an expansion to it. There you go. That may be it. Yep. State of decay too. All right. So oh, that makes more sense. Expansion, yeah, but new game like. At least I knew what it was. True. <laughs> See, but to me, it's like, should they have expansions like this at E3, or should it just be like a secondary thing? Because they're announcing it like this big game, and it's like, it's just an expansion. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but you know what I mean? 
Dude, at this point, Japan's they're just trying to. Online RPG. They're just trying to fill up as much time as they can, probably. <laughs> so like, we got two hours. What else can we show? Hey, let's go DLC style. Oh, we got two hours. What else can I show? So this is my uncle. He was born <laughs> in uh, the Philippines, and uh... I promise he hasn't touched any kids. Oh Jesus Christ! That got dark <laughs> real quick. What the hell? Online action. Everything is awesome. Oh, sorry. Song got stuck in my head now. So many faces. Oh, free, free to play. play. Okay. Are you listening, Android? No. <laughs> this is an actual concert release. I'm sure. <laughs> Another new quest awaits you. Fantasy okay. Star Online. Okay. I mean, I have There's been into. Fans of it. I'm, I'm into MMOs oh, now. I want it all. Fantasy Star know that this game has influenced many of the most popular games today. Yes. So with mm -hmm. great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage. Damn and Sega. Fantasy Star back Sega, they, they, need to, they need to come back up again. They're, they are. I know, like. Like no, like they are. Like, 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 like their own full studio console. Oh no, no, they don't. No, they no. don't. <laughs> no. No, man. At this point, why would they spend all that money developing on, and, you know, doing something risky, competing with Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo? These are the best parts of my job. No. Sega Nintendo. Sega Nintendo. No! No! <laughs> Stop shipping consoles. <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? Is that what he did? Yeah. See them all doing it. I'm happy I mean, to announce well we our it. Yeah. with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Does it? Does it? Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. Crossfire X. to console on Xbox One, so this is not... Hmm. Interesting way of putting time to exclusive. Recon? I like it. No. Wait a minute. Is that the Snake? Snake from Metal Gear for a second there. I was like, wait a minute. Hmm. Ghost Recon against the U.S. Interesting. Interesting, but what is it? Other than just another shooting game. Just that, probably. World 
world premiere. Another world premiere. Bandai Namco. All right. Pretty. buy an xbox i would not buy an xbox <laughs> at least not to the new one at least not to the new one dude they came i think this is a pretty strong showing so far yeah now, granted, though, there are not so as many are... huge titles, I think. No, so I, far, I, anyway. I keep seeing more um, third party. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. indie. Well, oh, don't hit the microphone, though. <laughs> This is what, Rage? No, it's still working. Oh no! I remember this. I saw we they showed this last year, didn't they? I feel like we saw a little bit of this game already. I may be thinking of something else. Yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Of course I've seen this, Chris. It's Borderlands. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't recognize it right away. That was dumb. I'm telling you, man, I need to play him. Awesome, dude. Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3. Ooh. I mean, and we're what, three months away? There's even more. Oh, that's right! For the Handsome Collection, they're giving you an extra chapter that leads into the new one. World Premiere. The game, uh, the George R. R. Martin and um, from software. Which one? From software, the creators of uh, uh, Bloodborne and everything. Oh, they okay. partnered up with uh, George R. George R. 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 Martin. You could even imagine it.
The Elden Ring? Elden Ring. Shattered. By someone. Or something. Don't tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Hmm. So, I'm interested in this because it is from software. You know how hard their games are, you know how their stories are. And then to have Railroad Martin on it, it's gotta be... It's gotta be an interesting story for sure. But then I'm also concerned on whether they're gonna finish it. <laughs> you know? Produced Batman by... Batman and Say hmm. developed by From Software. That, interesting. That looks interesting. I would like to hear more about that. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. Welcome back, Phil Spencer. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. For any Just today, for me, just for me. Showed you 60 games. You heard that. Thousand for are me. now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you <clears throat> means connecting all of these creators. Oh my god, it's already been an hour and a half. Yes. Last fall, Holy hell. we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. Don't you get janky now. <laughs> we will do this in two ways. Through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Okay. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Oh, you son of a... Mm. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature. Everybody look. Console streaming. <laughs> it turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Oh, okay. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October... You can stream you can from your own! ...cloud to play your game Dude. wherever you go. That is dope. Where you Hi, Xbox. Where you decide. <laughs> so let's talk about our next console. All right, here oh, we go. Oh, next console. Here we go. Here's where they take it out and whip it and the console is tell PlayStation. Let's see. Central to our experience. <laughs> we heard you. <clears throat> yes. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only. Gaming. So here's the okay. Xbox PC. <laughs> no lie, right? So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its ground <coughs> processor and the Elite controller. Same team that broke the, the record. The same team that engineered now the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One console. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. All right, that's what do you got to show? Come on. When we think about the future of gaming, mm -hmm. it's not just PC, it's not just console. Do you think they'll ask price? It's really all of the. I don't options. think they'll say it's a price the to PlayStation handheld. talks to. It's not a goddamn you know. Throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want. Fuck the that you want. And for us. On the devices that you want. Oh goddamn it! We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. I like that dude's more beard. More immersion, more exploration, <clears throat> more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? <laughs> One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer. Load times, you can't do that on a handheld. Loading screens are a thing. 
sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an <laughs> elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This you can't do that on a handheld, Ricky. What, you're waiting on an elevator? At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're oh, wow. leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 nice. to ensure that we're getting the best wow. performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. What? Capability, nice. variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've okay, so so far, everything kind of seems to go in like the PlayStation. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that. Oh, wow. And bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, mm. that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of do people you think sound the name? our first party studios hmm? as well as our third party. Will they give it a name? Working on we'll the next generation the experience. Scorpio. So we're gonna go with Sub Zero. That's no project Scorpio. So. He's Sub Zero. Seven in the last year. That's a big reptile. <laughs> it's green. Reptile is green. Oh, God. The next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members with the faster load. Oh my God, like, shut up and show me the box. The I'm really curious now. You think they're going to show you the box? Dude, they're building up the hype and it's building my anxiety and I really just want to see it. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my knee shape. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your it's accessories, your uh, console gaming experience. Xbox it all Two, but with Roman numerals. Scarlet. Oh, so they're just gonna call it the Scarlet. Oh no, Project, Project Scarlet. Scarlet. They still know name. Scorpio, Scarlet. Holiday 2020. So we have a release window. Yeah. Holiday 2020. Which All holiday? Right. Which will be Christmas. Yeah. So Black Friday. We're looking Christmas now. Time. Where it's gonna come out late October, early November. To be ready for Christmas, to be ready for Black Friday yep. sales, to be ready for all that. And optimize for players. That, that's my guess right the now. Ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experience. <clears throat> all right, Xbox fired first. Coming 2020. At the Silicon Holiday. level itself. Now PlayStation mm -hmm. comes back Together coming April <laughs> 2020. We have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Scarlet. Power you could see define previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel Xbox define 2S. Project Scarlet. When we talk hmm. about freedom to play, I mean PlayStation is apparently going to five, so cloud, why not? When we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. All right. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game that made me feel old. Thank you. The definitive Jeez, reason to own an Xbox. <laughs> well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Of course you yeah. would. Like, that's not a secret. Everybody everybody expected it. See, I told mm -hmm. you Halo would be on here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I worried that when I said Halo earlier, it was going to be the collection coming to play, uh, <laughs> Xbox Pass. And I was like, damn it, that's going to suck if that's the only time that they come out.
I will say, I wasn't a big, big fan of Halo 5. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't a big, big fan. Well, I've never really been a big, big fan of Halo. It, it's fun and all, but it was just... I always learned Halo multiplayer, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I started playing Halo. So I could never really get into the story. It was just well, the Well, mine was Halo single player. And when I meant single player, like single character, not in a squad. Yeah, no, and that's what I'm saying. Like for me, all I played was Halo multiplayer. No, like I never even the the co-op. I mean, not the co-op, the campaign. What do you mean? Yeah, the campaign. You're playing. You're still playing solo, but you're playing with two other characters mm -hmm. with you. Two to three other characters with you. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you? She just so broke her neck. <laughs> Can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Kids never listen that much. This and is I so love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Meet the first Spartan. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Oh. Hey, Master Chief. <laughs> you just hanging out? <laughs> I wonder how long he's been drifting. I don't remember him going in outer space on five. He becomes new Master Chief. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. So Master Chief is just like Robocop. Hmm? I'm going to try to override. <clears throat> okay. If you can hear me in there. Back to the future, come on! Please don't die. Please. <laughs> Master Chief goes evil. The servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. Huh? I, know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report. What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Hmm. Homeboy's pretty tall. We lost. Lost everything. There's no oh, wow. Here. I don't even know where he is. He just woke up. Get ready. Mm. All right, dude. Thank you for bringing him back to life. I never told you thank you, but but yeah, I'm gonna go get some stuff. All right, cool. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> Mm. 
Take a good nap. Interesting. Cartoon oh, right. went kind of evil on five. And <laughs> more Terminator stuff. Recap. I was gonna. I thought if you pre-order, you get Terminator <laughs> and Halo as well. Because why the fuck not? We already did the model. All right. So. Pirate game. Oh. That's Sea of Thieves, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess they're gonna come out with another expansion. Well, I didn't mention anything. But it wouldn't surprise me. That Lego one was completely unexpected. It was. Then we got our RPG dungeon. Oh yeah, Football Coach 2019. <laughs> the game we all wanted out of E3. At least it's not from EA. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. So, it was... It wasn't bad, but... I will say last year's was better. Again, but you got to think, we're at the tail end of the Xbox One. The bigger announcements they have to be holding back for next year for the for the launch of the new console that they just confirmed. So, yeah, but don't you want them to be? Where is it? Just, All right. All right, but Sweet. don't you want them to go ahead and um? How can I say it? Get you even more hype for the next console? I mean, yeah, but why would they give you so much information so, like right now? There's probably a lot of games that are just not ready to be shown. And if they tell you now, by the time that they're ready, people are going to go, oh, it's too much time. You know how people get. They're going to complain yeah. about it. So it's you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You either give us too much information or you don't. Now... In terms of a presentation, I think it was a pretty solid presentation. We saw a lot of games, mm -hmm. a lot of games that I was very interested in getting. Um, but at the same time, it didn't necessarily pack too much of a punch. No, it did not. Like, there um, were a few moments here and there where I was like, oh, man, and both of you and I got excited. Yeah. But I think the presentation as a whole kind of has the air of, yeah, Xbox One X is, is it's going the, sunset, Yeah, it's going you know? down already. But, I mean, overall, it was good. I did like lots of the games that are coming out. Um, uh, <laughs> it's, we'll see what happens. I am actually very interested in finding out more about the Scarlet now that we actually have a name. Now we know that it's almost already very close to launching already for Holidays 2020. Yeah. I mean, think about it. It we're already what month this is? We're already in June. We're already in June. We have a year and a half, a year and some yeah, a little bit year and a half, a little bit less than a year and a half. Yeah, time is gonna go flying. That I mean, okay. Be so they said holiday twenty twenty. When do you think? We briefly kind of touched on it. I think end of October, beginning November. Same, same. I'm thinking more of the Christmas holidays and everything for everything just to go yeah, and blow I mean, up. You know, you're not going to find a lot of them on deals, but you know that some places they're, are going to have Black Friday sales on them. You know, limited quantities to get people in the door. But. They are for, you're talking about for pre-order? No, not for pre-order. I'm talking about for, for the console launch. Because okay. I'm thinking if you're going to be launching the console end of October, mm -hmm. you know, beginning of November, uh, pre-orders are probably going to be announced at next year's E3 so that people can start pre-ordering in June or so. Uh, that's what I would guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, just, yeah. it's one of those where I think that, you know, they'll they'll be bringing it out early enough so that they still could have sales for Black Friday so that they can drive all that. 
but it's going to sell like crazy. Oh, no, yeah. Hell yeah, it's going to sell like crazy. I mean... I mean, I'm I, I just, I just missed last generation because we had it for so long, almost going, what, on eight, ten years? Yeah, before. but I mean, we've had this one. I mean, when you do the math, this one's coming out to about eight years total. You think? Right? I mean, when... When did this one start? Who who launched first again? I mean, they launched the same year, didn't well, they? Yeah, they launched the same year. Xbox, um, I think, came out first in terms of... Um, they came out a couple of months earlier than the PlayStation, I think. I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, no. So, November 22nd, 2013 mm-hmm. for Xbox. And the PS4 release date was November 15th. So, it actually came out a okay. week earlier. Um, but both on 2013. So, we are... Seeing that they they've had uh, six years, so yeah, yeah, I guess so that six year cycle. Dude, we're looking six by years. the end of it, seven years by the time the new cycle comes out. True, but I don't know. Time is just flying so quickly nowadays. That... Well, it's not really time; it's the technology, man. I mean, look at we replace our phones almost every year. You know, eh, not here not as much. I still I, got the seven dude, plus. <laughs> I, okay, I replace my phone every year. So no. when you. <laughs> When you kind of think of it like that, it's one of those cases where, um, yeah, it's, it's with the advancements we're having, it makes sense for it to come out. But mm-hmm. we're also now getting to a point where the human eye cannot see past 8K at all, period. Most people won't mm-hmm. be able to see past 4K. Which they and there's talk a lot about of people that. that they can't even see 4K between 1080. That's a different story. But what's left is really sound and load times. Mm-hmm. There's nothing else to max out. What else are you... You know what I mean? No, yeah. So they're going to try to take that uh, steps that PlayStation already initiated, you know, yep. with God of War. You know, those seamless uh, low times from being in a visual scenario where basically there's storytelling, trailer, whatever, cut to then... Uh, there you go. I couldn't think of the word cutscene. To then going straight into the game so seamlessly that you don't even know. It's like, okay, is it, is it me playing or is, is this a cutscene? I'm, I'm still lost. Like, yeah. Why is my character just sitting there? <laughs> 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 no, but going back to the games, what game would you say caught your attention the most? Uh, there were so many games thrown at us, dude, that it's honestly hard to tell. I mean, Ori 2 was definitely among my top that I saw. Um, that one with that girl who can build her house into a giant boat and go places that looks charming as fuck. <laughs> that one. I want to play that one for sure. Um, I didn't catch the name of that one, unfortunately. Yeah, but I there, there the were a few it. games that. And I mean, Cyberpunk 2077, but Definitely. I'm getting Cyberpunk for PlayStation. That, that's not an Xbox exclusive, so I don't really want to count that. But the fact that they're adding 30 games to the Xbox Games Pass, the fact that they're going to be having 100 games for PC by August, which I'll probably just wait till August to get it. <laughs> um, you know, it's awesome. It, it's really... We've been talking about this on our mm-hmm. show for a while now that Xbox has been putting the seeds for the next generation to kind of take over. And this is what you see, and this is the sort of presentation you have. And I mean, good for them. They they did a pretty, they did a badass job. It no, was it almost two hours. Um, it it did start feeling a little long at the end, but I'm not I'm not disappointed. I'm looking forward to how everything will turn out. I'm I'm looking forward to when these games being released. I, I am debating now getting an Xbox <laughs> to an extent, um, whether it'll be an Xbox One or whether it'll be. The, you know, next Xbox Project Scarlet, whatever they call it, which it's a shame that they don't call it Xbox Scarlet because that'd be nice. And then release a nice box that's black and red. <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> oh, so do awesome. you think they'll change their color scheme to red? No, of course they won't. That'd be stupid, too. <laughs> um, no, but it would be neat. I, like, I, that I, would, be cool. I would totally buy it. A oh, red and green. So it's Con- a Christmas yeah. box? There you go. A Christmas there, box there for you Christmas. Go. There you go. No, that'd be a terrible <laughs> idea. That'd be along the lines of uh, the Xbox Switch. <laughs> God damn it. Now, I did. I will say, I did enjoy those moments. No, fuck I'm... you. When they were saying things, <laughs> when they were like, all these words that could possibly mean handheld, and the <laughs> look you were giving me, yeah. I truly did enjoy myself. I mean, of course, I know that it's not really coming out. You know, that's just me being honest. But, but it, it is fun, it is fun just, just it is fun to mess with me. I it is, that. I it is. That. It's very fun because 
just in mind having the capability of, you know, right now is the perfect moment if you really think about it. Because if you're talking about making your dedicated console into your own server to continue to play with a freaking handheld or whatever. I mean, your, your smart, yeah, your your smartphone or whatever. and everything. And if they can just convert it into a handheld, you know, just... I mean, they already... And that's the thing. They already have that. And here... Here's where your prediction may come true, mm-hmm. is that because you're using your own, they could potentially yep. have that Xbox app for the Switch yep. where you can remote into your Xbox, and at that point, PlayStation's <laughs> But <laughs> No, especially if you have, like, a big uh, phone, you know, you, you have your Galaxy Notes yep. that are pretty big. Well, even then, um, I mean, with a Galaxy, with a regular Galaxy 10, I mean, it's big enough that I would be fine playing in this yeah. for a short period of time. And then I was going to say, the new um, iPhones that are coming out, too, they're actually bigger than this phone. So, and they already announced that they're going to have capabilities for a gamepad to be compatible with the iOS device. So, once this cloud service power on um, projects, you know, cloud. Projects comes, cloud. Yeah, comes live. Yes, you are going to have a potential handheld within your phone. And then your, your console will be the dedicated server to power. So, you're really not yeah. using much of your phone's technology to power that that is freaking awesome and then of course for those like for you that don't have a an xbox um you're going to be using their servers all the way on microsoft yeah. so my question is i want to know what would be the difference because now i would like to test it having your my console being the dedicated server for me versus you having to use a shared server I mean, honestly, I, I would think that the shared server would have a better benefit. Um, and that's just coming kind of when you're looking at the Stadia announcement, for example. Mm-hmm. They did talk about how they have like these processors and it's only the power of one processor where you could potentially combine multiple processors. So are they doing that? Because if that's the case, then their cloud service is going to be better than your own individual yeah. one because it's going to be dependent on your system. It's going to be dependent on how much crap you have in your system. True. It's going to be dependent on your internet connection and all that stuff. Very so true. theirs will potentially be better, I think. But it will be awesome to just pick up and continue playing wherever the hell you want. <laughs> that is the interesting and cool thing about it. It is. I'm, I'm actually very excited to see what this cloud service has um, coming out. But yeah, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so what did you think about the Xbox conference? Please go ahead and let us know. Remember that this is part of our watch-along for Gaming Dad 101, a show that goes live each and every Wednesday, except Mm -hmm. this Wednesday, and it goes live on YouTube as a video on Fridays. Again, we're two dads that talk video games. If you're interested in the show, go ahead and check us out. You can also check us out on Facebook.com backslash groups. Give me that 101. You can see the address right here at the bottom. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you can see whenever we post anything. We are going to be discussing a couple more things from E3. So thank you so much for joining us on this watch along. We'll see you guys next time. Luego.